Hello everybody and welcome to Sedex's webinar on overview of Finoflux platform. My name is Dmitry Kashanin, I'm CTO of Sedex Limited. I'm glad you could join us today. I'm going to start with introduction of Finoflux platform uh, and then I will proceed to uh, giving you a few different config hardware configurations of Finoflux platform and also will explain you uh, how the control software operates. And I will finish with a quick summary. Celix's Vinoflux platform is an in vitro tool to study and mimic uh, venous and arterial flow and visualize uh, cell ruling and adhesion underflow. It's a complete microscopy system integrating different parts, a microscope, positioning stages, incubator, robotic arms, uh, pumps, and uh, everything is controlled by a single software on the computer. Uh, it allows uh, to do functional cell assay and also can be used in pharmaceuticals and drug lead optimization. Um, the experiments on Vinaflux platform work with con in conjunction with uh, Vina8 series of biochips and there are several different types. It can be working with uh, Vina8 biochip where the interaction of leukocyte can be observed on the um, bright field of phase contrast. It also can be work working with um, Vina8 fluoroplast biochip where um, interaction of cells can be observed with fluorescence and uh, low level fluorescence and uh, receptor staining. It also, if uh, researchers are interested uh, to, um, to look at the interaction of uh, endothelial cells or, or different cells lining up the capillary with uh, leukocytes or platelets, we recommend to use VNA8 endothelial plus biochip. Uh, Vina Flux platform can be used in a variety of different applications, starting from inflammation and leukocyte adhesion studies, cardiovascular atherosclerosis and thrombosis, and uh, also in bacteriology where we observe the uh, interaction of uh, bacteria and biofilm formation, in respiratory where it is possible to look uh, uh, with interaction uh, of uh, endothelial cells and neutrophils or eosinophils in allergy and asthma. Also can be applied in oncology for uh, looking at uh, metastasis and metastatic cancer cells. Vinoflux platform ideal for functional cell ligand and cell-cell interactions. We can also look at the morphology analysis of cell adhesion and migration. You can track flow in migrating cells uh, uh, in drug screening, it allows you to produce IC50 curves of uh, drug compounds and can be used in uh, preclinical drug development and lead optimization. It's robust and easy to use. It's also ideal for use with different cell samples like whole blood for platelet adhesion and thrombi formation. Uh, it's uh, uh, quite easy to study cell adhesion, migration and transmigrations. Uh, and uh, the results are more physiologically relevant than the currently used static assay. The basic parts of the system is a microscope, which have a range of different options, which I will explain to you, uh, which fitted with a motorized stage and microscope cage incubator. Uh, the uh, biochip is uh, set up on the motorized stage and then it's connected to Myers nanopumps wi which provide the flow of buffer or media through the biochips and control the uh, injection of cells. It can be also fitted with robotic arm uh, and uh, which allows the transfer of uh, cells from Eppendorf tubes or 96 valve plates. The first part of the uh, configuration of the Vinoflux platform is microscopes. At the moment we offer uh, microscopes from three different branches from Zeiss, Nikon and Olympus. And uh, typically we uh, recommend different microscopes for different applications. Uh, there is some higher end microscopes like Axia Observer A1 or IX81 which are uh, particularly suited for looking at smaller cells like platelets and if somebody is interested in leukocytes it's uh, sufficient to use Axiovert 40 CFO microscope or IX71 from Olympus. 
The microscopes are typically fitted with cage incubators which allow to support 37 degrees uh, inside the cage so that all the experiments within biochips are um, conducted at 37 degrees controlled environment. Uh, uh, there is option to fit the incubators with black panel so that without actually having the dark room you could conduct the experiments uh, with fluorescence. There's also option to fit the microscope, uh, the uh, cage incubators with gas control modules which can mix air and CO2 and, and the predefined quantities. This uh, uh, cage incubator is supplied by uh, company Ocalab. Uh, we also supply um, different um, microscope automation for for Venaflux platform. It uh, can be fitted with uh, Merzhauser or Ludel posi positioning stages, XY positioning stages. We also have options to fit the uh, Z focus drive on different microscopes and also microscope shutters for both bright field uh, microscopy and fluorescent microscopy. Also, uh, we have different options for um, cameras which are used to acquire digital images uh, during the access. We at the moment provide three different uh, manufacturers of cameras, the Delta Peak, Q Image and Hamamatsu, and uh, they all fit different uh, purpose and uh, they have all different specifications. I will give you some small table where there is a comparison chart of different cameras and the different resolution and frame rate and applications. Some some of the cameras can be used uh, for bright field and high fluorescent microscopy and the uh, most sensitive camera would be used for low level bright field and fluorescent microscopy and uh, live cell imaging under uh, high, f high f uh, resolution and high speed. Uh, the next option for uh, Vinoflux platform is pump. And the Vinoflux platform comes with a minus pump, it's ultra precision pump which allows to control um, shear stress with uh, different samples, cell suspensions or whole blood. Uh, and it ranges uh, from very low shear stress from 0 0.05 dynes to up to 1000 dynes per square centimeter. And, uh, the flow rate is uh, also of the sample very variable depending on syringe and depending on the settings in the software. It allows parallel perfusions with multi-fluid and it's fully computer controlled. So this is the pump which is connected to a um, reservoir of uh, culture media and also the multi-fluid connected which al uh, then um, allows to, to attach uh, standard v 8 biochip and control all A channels in, in parallel. This is how you conduct the experiment. You attach the cable from multi-fluid onto a bio biochip which has been pre-coated with different ligands or uh, cells were seeded onto a biochip. And then you wash the chip, you dispose the waste and then place the sample in the, in the well. You apply shear stress at the pre um value and, uh, and then uh, during that uh, you observe the interaction of the cells with ligands or in the telial cells which line up the capillary. So this chip can be placed on the motorized stage and images from different positions of the chip can be saved and uh, stored on your computer. There is op also options to have uh, robotic dispensing introduced in X platform. So if you would like to transfer the samples, not manually, but automatically from your Eppendorf tubes or 96 well plates onto a chip, we have an option of robotic dispenser arm, which is a single pipetter. It can uh, do uh, very simple functions like resuspend cells in the Eppendorf tubes or transfer the cells from one Eppendorf tube to another one or from the Eppendorf tube onto the well of the biochip. Uh, the software which controls uh, the Vinoflux platform called uh, Vinoflux Assy software 
and this allows to control all different parts of the system so it has an uh, option to control the camera to control the motorized stage and also to control robotic dispenser so this is a typical interface of the program where on the left hand side you can see the protocol being loaded which allows to execute different uh, steps of the protocol for example you can see the syringe setting, set current channel of the pump, dispense into chip action, transfer sample, resuspend cells and so on. So Vinoflux software allows to control simultaneously stage, camera, pump and robotic dispenser. It al also has a straight away live preview of the experiment. It allows you to load customized protocols and then change them and then to save them into different files. You can execute automatically several steps of the protocol. You can record the images or, or sequences of images from predetermined positions on the chip. And there you can see a uh, dialog showing uh, that uh, seven positions of the chip have been uh, selected to be scanned. So the biochips can be scanned at predetermined time and the graph on top shows, uh, the blue line on the graph shows when the uh, biochip will be scanned and how the shear stress uh, is changing in that particular experiment. So once images are collected, um, there's uh, obviously a need to uh, analyze the uh, number of cells attached and number of cells rolling and the morphology of cells uh, during different experiments. We offer two 